Hey everybody, today we're doing a recipe called Chicken Katsu. I found this recipe online. I found it on a YouTube channel called Cooking and Crafting. It is an absolutely fantastic recipe. I've already made it twice actually since I first saw it. It's, uh, it's really good. Um, family loves it. Now, you'll notice I don't really mention much about the number or the amount of ingredients when I actually do the recipe. For that reason, I put a link in the bottom here in the description box that in that description box you're going to find a link to a couple of channels. Number one is the cooking and crafting channel and the other one is going to be for Silver Scream Girl's channel and Silver Scream Girl is Beth who is one of my friends and she has her vlogging channel Silver Scream Girl as well as a cooking and crafting channel called Cooking and Crafting. And I want you to go over there and check it out. Now, those of you who watch me know I don't recommend other channels very often. And I'm definitely going to send you over to this one to get the ingredients that you need. And also to subscribe because it's a fantastic place. There's some really good food there and some cute crafts. So take care, everybody, and enjoy the recipe. Here we go, chicken katsu. First, we need chicken, of course. I'm using chicken breast and chicken thighs here. You can use what you'd like. But whatever you use, make sure that it's thin. So pound it flat or cut it into thin strips and then season with garlic salt. In another bowl, you're gonna put some cornstarch, some water, stir that together until the cornstarch is dissolved in the water and you get most of the lumps out. Then add two eggs and beat well. Just make sure you get a bigger bowl, not splash it all over like I'm doing right there. Then you're gonna add some white pepper I didn't have white pepper, I used black. Black and white pepper is pretty much the same, except for the color. And some salt and some garlic powder to taste. Stir that up together. Then in a shallow dish, you're gonna use some panko breadcrumbs. Panko crumbs are Japanese style breadcrumbs. So dunk your chicken into the liquid mixture and then into the breadcrumbs. Then you're gonna fry this in some oil, vegetable oil, in a large saucepan. And you're gonna cook it until it is golden brown on each side. It's gonna be a few minutes each side, and you wanna cook it until the chicken is done. So when you insert a meat thermometer in the center, it's going to be uh, the right temperature. Now for the sauce, which is the best part of this. You add Worcester sauce, Worcester sister sire, Worcester sauce, uh, ketchup, sugar, some soy sauce, some paprika, some salt, and some pepper. And you just basically stir that together over medium heat until it comes to a boil and it's gonna thicken up very nicely, very easily. And then slice up your chicken into strips and you can serve it over rice with the sauce over top or you can serve the sauce on the side as a dipping sauce. The sauce is fantastic. In fact, the second time I made this, I doubled the amount of sauce because it was uh, so good and I like to have a lot of it. There you go, chicken katsu. It's great. Enjoy.